This is Centennial Plaza. In the heart of the Arts District in downtown Canton, Ohio, it's a $12.3 million construction project. The space will include a cafe, a large LED screen, stage, pavilion, and a children's area. Once finished, the Hall of Fame will be responsible for all programming for games and concerts. The challenges for us were, how do you hide the pipe in there, and how do you attach the lights to the pavilion, and there'll be a DMX controlled. It's gonna be really, really cool. Allegiant Stadium, new home to the Las Vegas Raiders, will hold 70,000 fans, and when complete will be the most connected stadium in the world, with 1,700 Wi-Fi access points, 227 miles of cable, and over 2,000 flat screens. Accordion walls that open to a spectacular view of the Las Vegas Strip, premium suites on all levels, and an 85-foot tall torch, signifying the late owner Al Davis and his spark. But most impressive, the retractable natural grass field. Weighing in at 1,500 tons, it will move the field in and out of the stadium with the help of a series of 76 electric motors. A little over 300 members, brothers and sisters working on this job. 450,000 man hours have been spent already on this project. The NECA IBEW Powering America team has developed new opportunities in the solar industry from NECA projects to man hours for the IBEW. And they're not just trying to be different, they're doing it. And a great example of that is right here in St. Louis. Earlier in the year, we started meeting to discuss these solar projects uh, with the intent of putting ourselves in the driver's seat and no longer take in the back seat to your typical general contractor. And in the driver's seat, they became Saks Electric becoming the prime contractor. Denver is growing, and of course, public health is growing with it. Denver Health is committed to improving the infrastructure and expanding around here. And that includes a seven-level building that is committed to the outpatient medical center. And of course, at the heart of it all is the NECA IBEW Powering America team. 225 exam rooms, six operating rooms, pediatrics, pharmacy, lab services, and radiology, all of which requires emergency electrical services fire protection, and internet data services. It's absolutely critical that it be done right, especially when it comes to backing up power to life-saving systems. The relationships are extremely important between the labor, the NECA contractors, the general contractors, the owners. It all comes full circle. Here at the 400,000 square foot DSM-09 and 10 data center project in Des Moines, Iowa, for a large software company, the NECA IBEW Powering America team continues construction in order to fulfill their commitment to the customer. The work that we do, that is all critical to the infrastructure of this entire country. We gotta keep them working in order to complete these projects to maintain the integrity of the electrical system of the country at any time. The Maternity Benefit Plan is put together by IBEW Local 48, NECA, and the Harrison Trust. It's six months of paid leave, 13 weeks before the expected due date, and 13 weeks after. Members receive $800 a week in addition to FMLA benefits. The trust also pays health insurance premiums, which means free health insurance coverage during the entire time for their family. So for any woman who's considering a career in the electrical industry and doesn't want to compromise starting a family, we got you. There's uh, steps in place to make sure that you're safe while you're on the job site, and then when you're ready to stop working, you'll be supported through your birth and through your first months of motherhood. The Yankee Air Museum in Belleville, Michigan is full of history from World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War. They rely heavily on donations and volunteers as they keep building and expanding. So we're very thankful for the NECA IBEW team for all their help that they are doing and we do hope that they keep helping us because this is such a treasure for our community. Unlike larger commercial jobs, almost every service call is an emergency. 
Whether it's a restaurant needing to restore power back to the commercial fridge or a resident needing an air conditioner to power on during a scorching New Mexico day, all jobs and service work are critical. That's why it's vital that the IBEW Local 611 and NECA contractor B&D have a productive and trusting relationship. The thing that traditionally folks think about union contractors is we can man up quickly. There's a big job going up. We can go from zero to a hundred person crew in a matter of a month or two. And that's a wonderful thing. And people think of union NECA IBW electricians, the big job guys, right? The thing about it is if we put in a call to the hall and they send us a journeyman, we know that that individual's trained, they're prepared, they're ready. And they can do the types of things that we're gonna have to ask them to do on their own, Lone Ranger style in service. So that's wonderful. Once completed, this line will transport energy from renewable sources back to the grid. It's a 96 mile, 345 kV transmission line and substation in Northeast Missouri. Most all the work was off road and this past late winter, spring and early summer, they had just huge amounts of rainfall up there. So they fought the ground, the weather all the time, but you gotta hand it to the guys. They've, they knuckled down and got it done. not just in Alabama, what the Powering America team of NECA and the IBEW provide is a career in construction, an offer of a lifetime, regardless of your background. The shelter program has been a real asset to us here in Birmingham and our recruitment efforts, being able to tap into some people who may have had a mistake or two in their life but are ready to make a change. And one of the things that we're seeing as we look into different parts of the workforce is that we need people who are ready to take an opportunity. 